telling them about what a wonderful experience this all was and how this is such a lifetime, once in a lifetime opportunity. Oh, we wish you the best of luck. Thanks so much for being with us tonight. Thank you so much. It is a finale. Fit for a dragon, the largest dragon outside Asia. It's carefully moving into position right now. And hundreds of thousands of strands of firecrackers are being moved, very gingerly, I might add, to end our parade with a big bang. The grand finale is coming up next. And this Chinese celebration is brought to you by AT&T. AT&T has a long tradition of supporting the communities in which it serves. Every of this magnitude requires a large send-off, so we brought in the friskiest lions and the largest dragon we could buy. The Gunglung is 268 feet long. We stretch it all the way out from head to tail. We cover more than two-thirds of a football field. But before we make room for the dragon, we want to bring in the lions. Association has been performing this finale for years. They are now a tradition. Oh, always so yeah, much fun to see. And they're getting in the position now to release the scrolls with wishes for a happy and prosperous new year. And there they are. The lion has become symbolic of scaring away evil spirits during the new year. It's believed that the practice started after Chinese villagers were forced to confront a threatening lion with their own version of the creature. San Rafael, we got young lion dancers from the Marin Chinese Cultural Association, of course, performing for Lay Seas, and it was fun watching Hayden, Maggie, and Stella at our table, feeding the lions, and they're about to get fed tonight, and entertain the crowd for our grand finale. And we're about to unfurl the scrolls that high above the crowd. Look at that shot. You can see five floors of spectators inside Macy's department store watching the Chinese New Year Parade. <laughs> a little help on furling. I can't imagine even being up on those poles like they are. Then they have to get those scrolls to unfurl. And they will any second here. It's got to be kind of scary to be way up there. They also want to synchronize this growing. Getting ready. <laughs> any time now, guys. Looks like they're batting their eyes. <laughs> stores and do their dance and reach high up for the lettuce and the laces.
the bag. The Golden Dragon. Enter the it Dragon. the Year of the Dragon. <laughs> it's raining. Robert. Firecracker are you still there? leftovers. Hey, Robert. He's gone. I, I'd have to say that there's just no bad view of this dragon. We're getting a great one from the ground, but I'm sure that from every angle, from the people in the Macy's building to the people in the stands, this is just a grand sight for this year's celebration. Uh, what a beautiful way, too. You know, firecrackers are always using the beginning and the end of ceremonies to welcome the nine deities. Woo! And we got it tonight. You know, Mayor Lee sent off 50,000 firecrackers. I wonder how many we just heard from Mr. Hamza. 150, probably. Oh, we heard a thousand. lot. Wow. And now, a dragon about two-thirds the size of a football field right here. Our finale, Golden Dragon. <laughs> With our Golden Dragon Cam from Thunder Valley, zipping him up and catching him. 268 feet of it. The dragon is the source of ethnic identity for the Chinese. Many still consider themselves dragon descendants. Yeah, you are inside the dragon. Oh, they dim the lights, too. Inside the dragon, they have to all stand one right behind the other when they operate this dragon and follow each other. I'm amazed that they don't crash every year. Look at that. The lights are now dim, and you're seeing the beautiful nighttime parade. This is what I remember most about this parade is it's at night, and the colors are just gorgeous once those lights go down. Watching live right here on San Francisco's Union Square, Southwest Airlines Chinese New Year Parade, Year of the Dragon. There it is. What a gorgeous sight. The dragons are referred to as the divine, mythical creature that brings with it ultimate abundance, prosperity, and good fortune. The gumlung or dragon is a symbol of power and vitality. The words, those born under the sign are considered doers, capable of getting the job done, and they are getting the job done tonight. The Thunder Valley Golden Dragon. Beautiful. Society of America Museum on uh, Clay Street. They had a, uh, a dragon dance from uh, Kaylun Martial Arts with Corey Chan, and they had a 50-foot dragon. I was so impressed by that. So imagine five times as much tonight, right here at the San Francisco Chinese New Year Parade. Imagine operating this dragon. It's 268 feet long, and it's all coiled up right now, right in front of Macy's on Geary Street. The lights are dim. You can see the colors. And to operate this dragon, you have to have people standing one right behind the other and following each other. How they're going to get out of here, uh, they're all wrapped around right now. But it's a beautiful sight in Union Square. As we celebrate this parade, this is one of the biggest parades of its kind outside of China, the 10th largest in the world, and has such a long history here in San Francisco. People remember this, coming to this, their kids have grown up watching it, and people talk about coming out every year to see this parade. And looking inside the dragon's head right now, <laughs> the mind of the dragon, we're getting a look behind the scenes from inside the dragon. We've been talking about dragons in the zodiac. If you know a dragon, you watch out that you don't anger such a person. A dragon who can breathe out fire, as we saw just a moment ago, so they're considered hot-headed. But the dragon has a soft underbelly, so while they may get angry, they also show great compassion to people in need. As we celebrate the year of the dragon, a little bit of dragon knowledge here. Dragon people are self-confident, impulsive, and they don't always listen to others. They're perfectionists, setting high standards for themselves. Look at that, the dark scene right there. Right in front of Macy's is our overhead cam. Gives us a really unique perspective. We haven't had this camera before, so this is new for us. Swooping over the street there, high above. What a fun way, what a spectacular way to kick off the Year of the Dragon. And you can see why it's considered the mightiest of signs. That is correct, Julie. And 
Take an example from those born under the sign. It's a year not to hold grudges and be quick to forgive. Yeah, so forgive us right now. It's time to say goodnight. <laughs> but before we go, we want to thank everyone who took part in this evening's broadcast. From all of the engineers, our directors, the people who are out on the streets putting this all together for us as we're celebrating the Southwest Airlines Chinese New Year Parade. Alyssa Wright's inside the control room. Thanks to all of you guys with a spectacular job tonight. And thank you at home for joining us in this celebration of Chinese customs and tradition. Go ahead, Bai Choi. Happy New Year, Julie, and Happy everybody. Happy New Year, Ben. Good night, everyone.